started with X Rocker. They have great quality products such as chairs, desks, accessories, and more. Feel free to check out the link down below in the description. And when checking out, use the code Ironix10 and get 10% off of any item of your choice. Hey guys, it's Ox here, and today we're making another Horse World video. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the newest remodel added into the game, which is going to be the Skeleton Horse, which we also did kind of see that coming. So, fun stuff there. I mean, it was, it was obvious because, like I kind of mentioned before, they seem to be doing it in order of which ones came out first. And so they're taking like the very like oldest one, doing that one first, and then kind of like moving in line. So, you know, we can probably tell which one's going to come next after that. But anyways, ignoring that fact, we still have a new model to look at. Also, I think they did something really different with this one. So I'm really excited for that because I have seen a photo of it. So I'm not going to spoil anything. There's a drawing of it. It still doesn't have the thing that I saw in the photo. So I'm honestly not sure if it's something you have to buy or if it is built onto the horse. So we we will see that in like a few seconds. All right, so, so far we have looked at the unicorn, we looked at the aqua horse, and we've looked at the dragon horse. Now we have the skeleton horse, which means our next one is most likely going to be the wolf. We have the hippogriff, snake, and the tiger. I'm still, again, not sure if they're going to be making a remodel of the tiger, considering that it's one of their newest ones. So that's a possibility, but I also am not sure if they're going to or not. So fun stuff there. But we are going to be taking a look at skeleton. Skeleton. Okay, so from way older videos, like way older their videos <laughs> I'm not entirely sure I think I've like tried to make a list of my favorite horses but I honestly can't remember anymore because I do remember that the aqua used to always be my favorite I think I, I was always pretty sure the skeleton was like my second because it was always only because of the animation where it fell apart that was like the only thing that like got my attention really with that one and the fact that it is like the skeleton of a horse I really like that um, I think I really like the unicorn one a lot. I do like the dragon horse a lot now because of the fact that it's just much bigger. Because I believe before, the dragon horse was like relatively the same size as every other horse. But now it is just a giant horse and I, I appreciate a giant horse. And then these ones, I don't know, I think I like the hippogriff, but I'm not sure if any of the other ones are really like standing as high as as these guys over here so i definitely think the skeleton horse has always been like a second favorite like i still feel like it is i really like it so hopefully i'll still like it <laughs> that's, that's what i'm trying to say because we all know sometimes with a new model you kind of get disappointed but honestly so far i have not been disappointed i am actually just bewildered i am like ooh what what <laughs> like that that's my reaction and then i'm just like this is awesome so yes let's look at the skeleton horse let's see okay so what i saw in the photo is not here okay okay so it might be something i have to buy then let's see there they are okay this is what i was talking about the skeleton wings so in a photo that i was given it shows the skeleton wings on the skeleton horse so I was trying to like wonder if that was something that was built into the horse now because you know it obviously didn't have wings beforehand or if that was something you're going to have to buy which it looks like it's something we're going to have to buy and I sadly did not have anywhere near enough <laughs> to buy them so yeah that's a little sad on that part but I do have a photo of it with the skeleton horse so we can definitely look at that to kind of you know ease the pain <laughs> of not being able to look at it here. But we will, we will get to see it on the skeleton horse. Anyways though, pointing things out, a lot of things to point out here. The eyes, very different. I like that they're a little green here, a little green. I also, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be the ears. I would imagine so. I mean, I don't think it could really be anything other than the ears. But we have the ears. There's a lot of like spiky points here, which I'm not sure what those would be on the horse. Or if it's just more of like a design thing to kind of make it like spookier in a way. Like that could also be what this is. Because I was going to say like these could be horns. But I feel like in a more logical sense they would be the ears. But I'm also not entirely sure that on like the <laughs> the skeleton of a horse. 
its ears are a part of the skeleton, so that's that's the only thing that I'm like debating on whether this is supposed to be like horns or ears. So I, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> There's no like pointing to saying which it is or which it is. Um, also with the mouth, we got some pretty sharp teeth, which I'm pretty sure horses don't have sharp teeth unless they do. I feel like that would I feel like that would be a little scary. Imagine. Imagine having a horse, you feed it an apple. It has like razor razor sharp teeth. <laughs> Are you going to still feed it that apple? Because <laughs> Because I don't I don't know. Personally, I don't think so. I'd be afraid that it might chomp my hand off. I mean that's still a thing, even without the sharp teeth. People are like, oh no, the horse might bite me. Which yes, that would be scary because they have big mouths and they are very strong. So, <laughs> I definitely think everything that's like up here and spiky is more of like a design thing than like meant to be on a horse. Uh, like again with like the sharp teeth down here, more of a like a design thing. But then we have the lovely little rib cage with all the ribs. <laughs> we have the little tiny tail where it cuts off. And we have the little bony legs. I love the bony legs. They're so floppy and flimsy looking and that... That is what you are going for when you are making that of a skeleton horse, you know? It has to look floppy and flimsy because what is holding it up? It's just bones, you know? Like, everyone's like, what if you didn't have, like, what was it? There's always this one question. I can't remember, like, I think it's like a question of, like, what if you were just skin? That, like, ew, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> ew. Um, but it's kind of like that, but, like, what if you were just bones? then like again nothing would really be holding you up you know because you need like every other thing to be holding you up you know because <laughs> like when everyone asks you that question about would you want to be like just skin you know obviously that implies that you are just going to be a blob of skin like you can't move <laughs> like you cannot you can't do anything you can't eat anything i mean you probably could eat stuff like, really weirdly, though. Like, really, really weirdly. You could eat stuff. But, like, I don't, I don't know. That's kind of, like, the idea here. So, the fact that he kind of, like, looks really flimsy when he walks. Like, especially his front legs. They definitely, like, they work for me. I like that. It looks nice. Now, I want to check the emotes, which I... I realize that I haven't been doing and I probably should remember to do that in future videos because I realize with the other ones, like the... The dragon one... I think I checked out the animations for that one, but I definitely didn't for the Aqua Horse. And I usually really like the Aqua Horse animations because it has like a backflip and then it also has like a really nice sitting position, which I, again, I didn't check out, so boo on me. I also don't think I checked out the Unicorn one, or actually maybe I did. But yeah, so I want to check out the animations for this one because, again, we all know my favorite is the little, the little fall, the little the little pile it says backflip does it backflip now wait a second okay let's let's go through all of these so we have the eating scary we have the lay down cute love that live for it pile of bones yes yes this is what <laughs> this is what i needed just a pile of bones all, like in all honesty though like as much as i love that little animation I would just hope that there was like a little more to it like maybe like the actual bones like falling into the pile instead of it just you know frame one frame two if you understand what i mean there but you know i wish it's like it just had a little more animation to it. just just a tad bit like it falls into it which i understand could probably be like a lot of work but i feel like that would just add to it a lot more really cool animation like imagine you're just like in a role play all of a so all of a sudden someone says something that you just don't agree with that you just you fall into a pile of bones <laughs> you're just like leave me <laughs> leave me be oh, there's also a bounce w was bounce always so oh what in the world no way <laughs> this was definitely not an option before Okay, see, this this makes up for the lack of movement in this one. This this makes up for it. You know what? Forget everything I just said. This is this is lovely. <laughs> like the fact that he barely moves and all his body parts just dislocate and then like snap back together. I like this. It's like a really odd dance. Like this would be me trying to dance. <laughs> like very stiff movement. Uh, we have the rear. There we go. Look at the little, look at the little legs. They go. Ooh, they like, I can literally just see them as noodles. Like that's literally what they look like. We have the hoof. We have the little noodle again. We have the bug. 
the bug. Hold on. There we go. The growl, which I don't think there's going to be much movement there. Yeah. But there might be noises not listening, though. And look at the jaw drop. I remember this one. <laughs> the jaw just, like, completely drops off. Like, whoa. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. <laughs> like, again, like, that that's a good thing for, like, a roleplay. Like, when there's, like, really comedic, like, kind of animations in roleplay games, they, they just make it so much better. Like, just imagine, <laughs> imagine again. Like, someone just says something, and I'm just... Oh, <laughs> oh, my, my jaw, it, it dropped. It hit the floor. Absolutely hit the floor. Clanked a little. We also have the lip flutter, which I'm not really sure how that works when you don't have lips. I think it's jaw just like... <laughs> like, look at that. Yeah, like, it, like the top part of the mouth and the bottom part just like went back and forth. That's kind of funny. <laughs> I, li I like that. We have the neigh. Looks really scary looking. And then we have we have a backflip. I need to see this. The sun's going down. Hold on, backflip for me. Yes, yes. That's what I that's what I forgot to look at with the aqua horse because I do remember the older one having a backflip animation, but I don't think I checked out any of the animations for the aqua horse this time around. So yeah, I might have missed that. <laughs> I might have missed new animations too. I'm realizing because the bounce is a new one. Um, and the backflip is a new one as well, so I might have missed new ones for those ones. If you guys want me to, I can go back and look at those. But I'll probably just keep looking at the remodels because that's really what I'm here for. Also, quickly before I end the video, I wanted to show you the skeleton horse with the skeleton wings. Because this is the photo that kind of made me believe, like, is this added onto the horse? Is it not? Because this was the only photo they gave us when they said it was, like, remodeled. And so I don't have a comparing photo as I usually do. So that's a downside, but we do have this to look at the lovely skeleton wings on it. So you can maybe decide before buying it, like if you want it or not. Cause that's usually like what these photos are really good for is if you want to buy something, but you're really unsure if you want it or not, get a little preview of it first and then decide. So there's that. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. If you guys liked this video, make sure to like, subscribe, part of the squad, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!